Okay, digging on a hillside here and found what looks to be a mercury dime. Yep, it's a merc dime. Clean it up and come back to you later. Okay, back here. Sorry I'm out of breath. The ground's somewhat frozen and as you can see I'm on a very slopey slope. See a rim of silver sticking out down there. It is, whoops, looks like another mercury. Eh, I believe so, another mercury. All right, come back with the next one. Okay, got another piece of silver all the way down there at the bottom of the plug. Whew. Sorry again, this, this hill, it's quite a workout in cold soil and uh, steep hill. Another mercury. Looks a little more worn than the rest, so I'm not going to pick at it though. Okay, cool. Show you when I get home. Come back with the next one. Okay, I got my first bullet for the year. It's a drop, 58 caliber, three ring mini ball. Pretty decent shape, too. All right, cool. First of the year. Hopefully, we'll come back with more. Okay, got a 69 here. It's been fired. You can see the ramrod marks on the, the nose of it. Pretty good shape for a fired one. All right. Come back with the next one. Okay, dug a sense six inch target here and down the wall of the plug is some silver. Hope I didn't nick it. Being that it's on the edge of the plug, I bet I did. Yep, sure enough. Dang it. Must have been some iron or something in there to get my pinpointing off like that. It's a mercury. Common date, so I don't feel so bad for nicking it. All right, come back with the next one. Okay, got a bullet at the bottom of this plug. Ooh, a dropped 69. All right, awesome. Come back with the next one. Okay, back from my mixed kind of coin and, and uh, relic hunts that I've done the past couple days. Um, for coins, just a kind of stack of wheats. Canadian penny, which there's nothing special about it at all other than it was found here in Missouri. Um, this is kind of neat. It's a little keychain from Lee's Tire Company. As far as I know, they're still around today, but it was offering a dollar reward for return of these keys. And uh, as you can see by the style of tire on the keychain, that's a pretty old chain. A dollar was probably a lot of money back then for reward. Four silvers, all mercs, all common date. This one I kind of gouged up a little bit. It was um, it was laying like this in the hole, and there was some iron in there too, so my pinpoint was off. And uh, fortunately, was on the side of the plug when I cut into it, so. Sorry for you, Miss Merck. Um, for the relic side, look at all these rivets. I've been really hitting the rivets quite a bit lately, and some of them even have some of that 150-year-old uh, leather in it, which is pretty neat, and some don't. This is a mangled shoe toe tap. Um, it was I dug it out like that. I didn't didn't break it. It was mangled when I found it. And then uh, oh, a pinfire fired pinfire cartridge shell. And some bullets, uh, a drop 69, a drop 58, and then these three are fired, uh, two fired 69 round balls, and then a fired 69 mini. It's got the nice little ramrod mark on it, and it's really not in bad shape for, for a fired bullet. It's got some of the rifling grooves on it, though. Not too bad, and then a little little pistol ball as well. So. That's what I've been up to lately, me and the CTX. But now that the ground's thawing, we should be able to hit some other places. So thanks for watching.